when it comes to being successful, I think that it has to do with like a particular chemical, a balanced balance chemical in the brain of a person. The reason I believe that because it, think about it. If you take two people and both people lost their jobs, let's say they're bankrupt, they lost their house, um, they file for bankruptcy, they end up on the streets, and both of them could be possibly living on the streets for a bit. One of those people, that person is going to adjust. That person is going to go to warm places when it's cold. That person is going to find places to eat on the street, find places to sleep. And that person is going to adjust, conform, remain in this condition, in this situation. And there's another man that may end up on the street as well. Maybe one day he'll go into a garbage pail. He'll pick out a piece of food from the garbage, take a bite into it, look in the mirror, and start crying. And say to himself, I'm never going to eat from the garbage again. And then from that day, we begin to see progression. We begin to see change. So what is it between those two people? Why is it that one person will get to a point in life where they have a reason for becoming successful? They have a reason for wanting to do great. Uh, everybody's different. Some people can lose some, somebody in their family, a loved one. There could be a tragedy in their lives and that will cause them to go out there and actually achieve greatness. And there's other people that have the same loss, but they don't achieve greatness. They just kind of remain and just kind of deal with it. What is it in the brain of a person? That's why I don't think everybody um, has it. I don't know. But tell me what you guys think. Do you guys think everybody has the ability to become great? Or do you think that that's just given to certain people? Uh, let me know what you guys think.